Hi, welcome to another video. Today we are looking at miles per gallon fuel economy overall. How do you get the best fuel economy out of your camper van? And I'm joined today by uh, Ian McAfee, who is from the Institute of Advanced Motorists Stratford Group. And he's uh, going to give us a few tips today on how we can drive this vehicle in the most economic way possible and also the most safe way possible and so that we're getting the most out of our fuel and therefore saving money. Good news for everybody. So the object of the experiment that we're trying today is to, to assess the impact of your driving on miles per gallon, your fuel economy and even your safety. So what we've done is we've, we've come up with a route that encompasses uh, motorway driving, a little bit of urban driving, and also some rural roads as well. We thought it'd be worth experimenting and seeing what two types of the two different types of driving that we're going to do. Extremely careful with MPG and not paying it, any attention to MPG, and then what that what effect that has based on the different road types we're using on the eventual result. So some IM top tips for economical driving. Actually, they're linked with careful and safe driving as well. And the first thing is to think about thinking ahead, planning ahead, and that's considering distance between yourself and vehicles ahead and behind you. Why? Because you want to reduce the number of times you accelerate and slow down the vehicle. The biggest excess use of your fuel is accelerating and decelerating the vehicle. So for example, if you slow a vehicle as big as this down from 70 miles an hour to rest uh, in five seconds, you are transferring about 150 to 200 kilowatts of heat through the front wheels. You'll boil enough water for 12 cups of coffee. That is a lot of energy. So if you can reduce the number of times you do that, you save money. And that means thinking ahead. Think ahead to junctions, distances between yourself and vehicles ahead and behind you. There are other things as well. Aircon is worth more or less 10% of your fuel bill. So if you don't need it, turn it off. If you can avoid using it on occasions in hot and use the fan instead, use that. If it gets a bit hot and you need aircon or something, above about 50 miles an hour, don't open the windows, that ruins fuel economy. Actually use a little bit of aircon to remain cool enough. Um, and keep your vehicle serviced. That's probably worth, in the limit, about 10% of fuel burn. Dirty oil, clogged filters, um, poorly maintained tires can be worth a tenth of your fuel bill. And on top of all this lot, if you look after your car or van and drive properly and drive safely, you're also going to reduce other bills tires, wear and tear on the vehicle, you can keep a valuable asset in good condition for longer and you can enjoy driving it better as well. So we've just done part two of the experiment and as you can see we've achieved 31.8 miles per gallon on average across the two legs. At the end of the first part of this trip we had achieved about just over 35 miles to the gallon and now the average has come down to just under 32 so you can see the difference that that has had on our total economy total fuel economy so the driving when you're not really paying attention to your braking your distances your uh, acceleration has had a marked impact on the amount of fuel that we're using we've done this this trip 
in exactly the same vehicle, uh, in almost exactly the same conditions and exactly the same route. So you can see the, um, the amount of difference that it has made to fuel economy overall. And that just gives you a picture of how much extra money you might be able to save with just a little change to your driving habits.